I'm gonna go and answer the most frequently questions that I usually get. So let's start with the first question. Do I need a degree in data or computer science? To become a data analyst? Well, to be honest, yes, it can be a plus if you have a degree in computer science. But my answer for this is gonna be no, because my friend, I have met a lot of data analysts and even data scientists that they switch their career from completely different topics. And I know a colleague that switched from art to data science. So all what matters here is skills and your portfolio. Okay, to the next question, and it says, how long it takes to become job ready? Well, on average, it's gonna take between six to eight months. This is enough to learn the core skills and to do the projects, but it really depends on your time. So if you are committed to it, it will not take more than eight months. And even if it takes one year, it's fine. To the next question, should I start learning Python or SQL? Well, as you saw in the roadmap, SQL is more important than Python for a data analyst because you're gonna go and use it daily. Python is just a bonus, it's nice to have, and you're gonna learn it later in order to grow. Now, what if the job descriptions ask for Python, ML, DevOps, and data engineering? Do I need to know everything? So my answer for you here, no, because as I said, the job descriptions are usually a wish list. You don't have to master all of them, but you have to master your core skills as a data analyst. Everything else is a bonus and nice to have. Okay, moving on to the next one. Do I need to learn Tableau and Power BI? Well, for sure, you don't have to learn both of them. Just pick one. Now comes the hard part. Should I learn Power BI or Tableau? If you are already in a company, check which platform they are using, which tool. So if the whole company is using Power BI, then go for it. And if you are not yet in company, I would say it doesn't matter which one you pick because all the job descriptions going to add ask either skills in Power BI or Tableau. And I would say as well, if you are targeting Europe, go with the Power BI. But if you are thinking globally, then Tableau. But again, both of them are very widely used and you will not make any mistake by choosing one of them. Now we go to the last and most important question. Will AI take the job of a data analyst? Now, this is really hard question, but I'm going to answer it with Yes and no. Yes, it's gonna happen if you just learn the four skills, you get hired and you stop learning. So that means you depend only on four skills to do data analytics. And I'm sure in this scenario, the AI will take your job. And this is because one thing, you stopped learning, you stopped growing. And I'm gonna say no, AI will not take your job if you go to the phase number four, keep growing. We need always data analysts because I think about it like this, AI will change the way you do analytics. Because think about it like this, before the data analytics is done in papers and then after that in Excel and then they move to big data platforms with Power BI, Tableau and as well this is gonna keep changing with the AI, we will use different tools in order to do analytics. So my friend, AI might write SQL, Python, maybe build dashboards. So it's gonna automate the execution part but not the critical thinking of a data analyst, the business understanding and the human storytelling. So that means AI will not replace you, just keep tracking the trends, just keep learning new stuff and I'm sure you will be always needed. All right, so those are the questions that I have. If you have any other questions, just post it in the comments and I'm gonna try to answer them.